What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Pioneer Cube draft. I've had a good time with this so far. I wonder if Luris is a card we can build around. Each permanent has to have a cost two or less. And that sounds like it could be good, but I like playing expensive Planeswalkers and big fat seven drop blue creatures like Carnage Tyrant. <laughs> Man, that dinner's really catching up with me. Or perhaps Vivian Arcbow Ranger. These are definitely the two cards that stand out to me the most here. Aside from Lurus. I think Lurus is a good card. And you can also just play it in your main deck as like a, a black-white gentleman. It doesn't necessarily have to be your... Yeah, I'm going to take the Lurus anyway, because I like building around black-white better than I like building around green. And you have to sign a waiver. How can I help it if I think you're funny when you're mad? Trying hard not to smile, though I feel bad. Interesting. Not a great pack for our black-white first pick, but we could also just take... I think Alrun's Epiphany is probably one of the stronger cards. Being able to uh, take extra turns is one of the coolest things you can do in Magic. I mean, if we want to stick on this, we get... Palladium Mirror, Deck and Stone, or Disfigure, none of which are super exciting. I'm going to take the Alrun's Epiphany. Could also be Esper. I think the mana fixing is good in this cube, so. Monastery Mentor and Elspeth Conquers Death. Both of those are bangers. I think I personally like Elspeth Conquers Death a little more. If I was able to cast Monastery Mentor off of Luris, I think I would go the other way. Mass Manipulation is also pretty sweet. I think we're just taking Elspeth Conquers Death. It goes well with Luris, and it goes... Like, we can either be, like, black-white, blue-white. So, we got some options. And a glacial fortress for our for our pleasure. Seeker's Squire. You're fine. I'm gonna take Glacial Fortress. Man, I do love an Ulamog. Quarantine field also pretty alright. Do we have any way to really effectively cast an Ulmog? Yeah, you just use your lands. I'm going to take Choked Estuary, maybe? Thassa's Intervention, also kind of sweet. Omen of the Sea, you're neat. Yeah, we're not really in black yet. Like, there's no necessary reason to take this. I kind of like Quarantine Field. Man, Archon of Sun's Grace again. I feel like we just built around this guy, but with Quarantine Field and Elspeth Conqueror's Death so far, I think it's actually pretty good. Plus, we're getting to a point where like we might not even need the blue. Felidar Retreat. We can go turn four Archon, turn five Felidar Retreat, play a land. I don't love this card in Vintage Q, but I think it actually could be pretty good here. Silk Wrap also might come back. I do like a Midnight Clock. Yeah, I guess with the Glacial Fortress, we have no incentive not to. Triple Blue might be a little rough if we're not majority blue. Irrigated Farmland is nice. Apparently these are broken as well. Yeah, Deck and Stone is playable. Drury Disruption, also not bad. I'm going to take the Disruption here. It's both a land and a spell at the same time. Oh, yeah. Omen of the Sea is great with both Luris and with Argon. So if that came... Oh, Mass Manipulation came back. Uh, it's pretty good. I have to sign a waiver. 
How can I help it if I think you're funny when you're mad? Trying hard to smile though I feel bad. I'm the kind of guy who laughs at a funeral. Can't understand what I mean, but you soon will. Manips. Mass manips. It's been one week since you looked at me. Blue white control and cube. That's next level Gandalf. Oh, but the sea came back. We got Luris and we got Archon. Oh man, our blue white enchantment dreams are coming true. Ooh, neutralize. Sure. I don't know if we're gonna main deck it. Oh, I'll go fortified village. Now, if we want to splash a green card, we can do it. Dude, if you guys are watching Doge right now, it's pretty wild. It's been going up all day, and then it'll take these dips, and then it goes right back up. And it's kind of wild. Currently, Doge is at about 67 cents, and that is just insane. I do like Rogren Trium, but it might come back. I actually think Wingmate Rock is pretty sweet. It's not an enchantment, but... You know what? Not everything is. It's two, three, four flyers, and really that's pretty good. I like treasure map. I think we did draw 10 cards with Finale of, of Revelation recently. We already have a sensor in the form of Dwari Disruption. I think I'm just going to take the... Okay, I don't know what's going on here. All right, I think we're just taking treasure map. And also, we can get it back with... Actually, there's probably no way this is getting killed, so getting it back is ambitious, but... Yeah, it's on the board. If it's if we're not getting it back, it's on the board. I'm going to take Mana Confluence here. I think with, like, double white, double white, double white, double white, double white, double black, four blue, we want to have good mana, and I think the only thing we're passing up is, like, a Disallow here. I do kind of like an Aetherling a lot. I keep wanting to play Aetherling. I think we can do it here. Settle the wreckage is kind of sweet. It doesn't kill our creatures, guys. Did you know that? Kabir takedown as a land is also nice. Seagate restoration as a land is also nice. Multiple choice is just a pretty sweet card that I think is great. Settle, wow. We're really blue white control. You, buddy, you might be right. Also... If Seagate, Multiple Choice, or Glimmer come back, I'm going to be pretty happy with that. I am going to take Settle. It's Settled. Ooh, Sphinx's Revelation, Angel of Sanctions. Also a banana banger. We don't have an X mana draw spell yet. Sphinx is one of the better ones. Angel just gets. I'm going to take the angel. <laughs> There's a lot of actually uh, cards that like Sphinx adjacent cards, like um, like the one we already passed. I don't care about Thassa's Oracle or Quicken. Charming Prince or Void Chatter might just be the best options here. I'm going to take the Void Chatter. Settle down. Oh, man. We have a good time. Well, once I put... Once I got Settle and Void Shatter, I was like, maybe we're neutralizing after all. 
we're starting to become more of a pure control deck here. Sphinx adjacent is going to be my next band name. <laughs> How you doing, everybody? We're Sphinx adjacent. And we're going to rock your asses tonight. Okay. Looking forward to it. Stasis Snare, which is basically just a uh, journey to nowhere for three mana. Skyclave Apparition. Golos. I'm kind of liking Stasis Snare because not only does it let it keep... keep not only does it let us okay you know what fuck it I'm not even going to try to say it anymore it lets us keep counter spells up but we can also get it back it also triggers Archon so I'm going to take the snare oh damn that was a word that was a word miss I'm going to take this island planes there's the finale so again Sphinx adjacent but I'm also going to pass this again. So we're going to take Sensor here. Cycle it. And uh, we're going to get that Sphinx's Revelation back. Because if someone in mono blue didn't take the finale, then there's no one in blue-white that's going to take that Sphinx's Revelation. And you can take that to the bank. Go ahead, take it to the bank. Take it to the bank. Give it, cash it. Put, uh, put, it, in your, put it in your account. Got a disallow here. Three, three mana blue counter spells. Oh, there might be there might be no one in blue white for a reason. Wow, jokes on you, buddy. Blue white's one of the few decks I have three owed with in this cube. So, why don't you go to your go to your fridge go to your refrigerator and get some eggs and suck on them? Did you ever think about that? Go suck on those eggs, my friend. Oh, multiple choice came back. Beautiful. Okay, it looks like it looks like the Sphinx's Rev did not come back, but that's fine. There are actually hard fresh hard boiled eggs in my fridge. How did I I know because I put them there. You're welcome. Jace, Wielder of Mysteries, another three mana counter spell. Coma with our Fortified Village. This card is so good. This, this is the card that has the highest percentage your opponent will scoop to it. I don't know what this is. This is Vivian Reed's forehead. And uh, I think it's either Jace... Or we just or we just take coma and pick oh we also have mana confluence. Oh, man, if this is only a bant triome, but that doesn't exist. So um hmm. Well I I don't think it's your end. We already have four or five drops. I ain't looking for a fifth five drop here with no with no ramp whatsoever except for midnight clock. Is well, how good is your round? Blinks Elspeth Conquers Death. I mean if we're blinking, like, I'm going to take the coma. I don't think it's, I don't think it's that crazy. Ooh, a piff. So, okay, let's look at Yorian. Yorian, no, 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 no. You can blink Angel, but they're going to get the first thing back. You're just kind of resetting it. Elspeth conquers death. Wingmate rock if you've attacked with something. And that's pretty much it. So it's like this, maybe this. And this. These are the three cards that work with the Orion. It's not ideal. We could reset our midnight clock. Everywhere I go. Where did the multiple choice go? You are likely going to be a five drop. So we have Glacial Irrigated and Rogren Triumph. Do we want Port Town? Mm -hmm. I think I'd rather have Sublime here. Sublime is just a blowout. Whatever, I'm taking the Sublime Epiphany. Ooh, Elspeth Conquer, Elspeth Sun's Champion. Also a, oh yeah, that's just, that's that's what's, that's a windmill slam right there. Ooh, ooh, approach of the second sun. I'm gonna put you over here for now. Look, another Sphinx's, Sphinx's Revelation adjacent card. 
I'm going to take approach. We could take Brazy B, but I think approach is going to be uh Oh, Mary's call. Temple Garden. Oh man, is Coma coming to life? I don't care about this guy anymore. I'm going to take the Emiria's Call because I think it's probably better for us. Maybe Sealoy is better for us, actually. We don't have a ton of... I guess we have Settle. Hmm. I don't know if this is a Wingmate Rock deck either, to be honest with you now. Um, oh, what up, Medina Streams? <laughs> I'm going to take Seal Away. I think it's probably going to be... I think one of those other cards will likely come back. Um, man, Azorius Charm brings it back to the Return of Ravnica standard. Also, Essence Scatter is good, too. Where's a Torrential Gear Hulk? Hate Draft Immortal Sun. Man, Charizard James with the hot takes, buddy. I want to take Essence Scatter. Oh, Hollowed Fountain? Oh, boy. I don't think we actually need to go into a... F I don't think we need to play the Coma f for... I think our win conditions are probably just fine at this point. That's like a baffling end. Look, Yorion came back. Jace came back. I think I'd rather have another Planeswalker than a random Yorion that I still don't think is that fantastic. Port Town came back. Our mana base is looking great, too. Fumigate. Now we might be main decking Fumigate. <laughs> okay, so this is actually a land, which is nice. Hmm. What are we cutting here? Oh, too bad this wasn't black blue. That's sad. Or blue, blue white rather. I don't know why I said black blue. Sometimes you just name two colors and then you just hope it works out. Interesting. Let's take a Mirror's Call. Again, we're not going to play the white, so I'd rather just have a land that's free. Azorius Charm came back? Oh, man. Jeez. What in the earth? This is basically just a blue... This is just a blue-white control deck. Yes, that's true, but a constructed level one is what I meant. I mean, four cuts? Ugh. God. The number of cards we just picked up that are actually playable is kind of gross. Mass Manips is good. Quarantine Field is good. I'm tempted to cut Quarantine Field because it doesn't, it's not instant, whereas Stasis, Stasis Snare is and Seal Away is. And this is very much a deck where you want to like, like instant, instant. Yeah, I can, I'll take it out for that reason. This goes over here in the lands. You can go, you can go. Land, 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 land. This mana base is great. And Amiria's call. So we need two cuts. We should play Baffling End, but I also... I feel like Baffling End gets stuck in my hand more frequently than something like Seal Away. Plus we still have one, two... Three, four, five. Is it just five? Hmm. I think Treasure Map is actually a really good source of card advantage in a deck that doesn't have a ton of it. Oh, no, the border is because it's a companion. If it's red, it means your deck is not fulfilling the criteria for this to be a companion. So if I take all of this out, 
and I put it here, now our deck is a, a companion legal deck because it's blue. It means we have no permanents in our in our deck that, that cost more than two. But once we put a three mana permanent in the deck, like a midnight clock, oh no, he's not a legal companion. It just tells you whether the companion is legal or not. Two cuts. Probably closer to like three if I really want to be honest. I'm actually almost tempted to... We have three creatures. One is Archon. One is Angel. And one is Aetherling. Aetherling is a banger. I think we can take out Angel. I almost think we could take on the Archon as well. Like, we're just going to fumigate and kill it. So, just kind of deal with it. I think that's fine. We have multiple choice. In addition to the, the one creature that we have, like, our win conditions are pretty good. This, this, uh, this makes it infinite. This, you... Uh, fill out our retreat makes guys like I think we're actually not shy on win conditions and our mana base is really good sort by Colares so literally all of these are dual lands 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2 they kind of have to be because otherwise we're just uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 4, 11, 10 which is actually 11, 12, because we have, yeah, all right, let's do it. I want both Settle and Fumigate. Like, we're a control deck. I want to have two sweepers. I don't think that's... I don't think that's unheard of. Send me an A. I never heard of it. <laughs> well, maybe it's unheard of for you. Right now. I'll pause it until the match fires. Okay. Oh man, our opponent's 1 0, and they're double queuing in a Mengu Cube Phantom Draft League. How is that? What? How is that? How's that a thing? What's happening? Keep. I'm confused. They went to six on the play against the control deck. They went to five on the play against the control deck. Buddy? No, they're passaging. Got this one into this one. Remember when we were like, I guess I'll just put the neutralize in the sideboard. And then I was like, oh, I guess we're just complete full-on control deck. Yeah, that was a good time. Oh, let's get our Omen of the Sea down. like a midnight clock. I'm going to bottom the fumigate and keep the midnight clock. Time keeps on ticking, ticking, ticking. Thanks to my midnight clock. Totally fine. I will not 
I will likely rarely counter a one for one. Is this a mirror match? Is this a control versus control matchup? We just want to make sure we hit our lands because the next turn we can uh, pioneer. What the hell is that? It is a format. It is a magic format in Magic the Gathering. Hieroglyphic illumination. Again, that's fine. One, two. Foretold. Foretold card number entered the exile zone. That's good. I feel like I'm looking at looking at literal HTML code. I'm like just looking at code. I honestly don't want either of these. I want landsies. So we're gonna bottom both. And we're gonna hit. It's a land. I wanted an untapped land so I can play my Midnight Clock. I'm going to play another thing. Okay, buddy. We get it. Okay, so they've successfully demulliganed. I think control decks might be just a little too prevalent in this format, actually. They might just be too too easy to put together. Mm, boy. Oh, God, don't. Oh, all right, cool. Still good to keep up neutralize here. Still good to advance our mana base. Still good to... Stop whatever this is. Sphinx is a relation, I bet. Okie dokie. Like, just three for ones, probably where I draw the line. Your two for ones, I'll let it happen. I mean, we also have Sublime Epiphany, Mass Manip, so we have a couple ways to deal with, like, creatures here. My biggest fear is that they play a Planeswalker, but we can steal it. Or they just play nothing and we feel good about our decision. Yep, sure. I just went downstairs in the dark without my glasses to get a snack and my roommate was in the pantry in the dark eating. That sounds terrifying. They're not really doing anything, which is very fascinating. We forgot to put a thing on there, but that's okay. No. I think we're just going to keep Sublime Epiphany up. <laughs> Maybe. This is a really intense game you guys are watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the intensity. Well, I guess you're going to draw some more cards? Mm -hmm. <sighs> you're going to bounce my clock. Turn a non-land permanent. There is none. Counter an activated ability. There is none. Counter a spell. We can do that. Uh, that's annoying. Okay. I'm not going to sublime epiphany a brazen borrower. You got it.
I have four cards in hand. I don't know what they could be. I'm extremely curious. Land? I kind of want lands here. I guess I do need a blue source for this. Midnight Clock. Put the shields down here, but they haven't really been doing anything. I don't know what's going on. Hmm. I mean, I have to assume there's a certain point where playing Elspeth Sun's Champion is just the correct thing to do. But I don't know when that is yet. We'll bottom this. I don't even care about putting counters on this right now, actually, because uh, maybe I do. No. I don't know. It's... Nine mana. I don't see an incentive here to take down the shields for Sublime Epiphany. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 8. We have 9. They have one more mana than we do, but we have one more card in hand than we do, plus a treasure map, plus a midnight clock. So, technically doing better. Hmm. Part the Water Veil. Well, I don't like that, so cast, counter a spell, draw a card. <laughs> I okie dokie, <laughs> right. So we would have drawn this off Sublime, this for our turn. We could have actually played that. This is actually great because now we can get rid of some of our junk. Um, definitely tempted to just play Coma now as a big, fat, uncounterable thing. Sort by mana cost. Mana value, does it say? Nice, it does. Take out this. Take out Settle. Bring you in instead of a planes. I can't believe they made this less functional. Take out one, two. Um, so this is 40. Kind of want like Cavalier of Gales in here too, just as like a guy. I think we can probably add it. Take out Azorius Charm. Yeah, that seems better. Mm, that's no good. That's really good. Um, I'm actually going to ship the Epiphany. One of the best parts about the treasure map is that it lets us play Coma all by itself, makes the two green. I'm pretty sure this is a behold to beyond that they're going to play, so we're not going to get much value out of sensor here. I'd much rather just drop a treasure map and 
starts scrying. Correct. What did I say? Behold the Beyond? What is that? That's like an eight mana, seven mana black card, right? How many, how many magic cards have Behold in the name? Two, Behold the Beyond and Behold the Multiverse. Uh, Behold the Beyond, discard your hand, search your library for three cards and put them in your hand, then shuffle your library. So pretty sweet. Uh, sure. Mountain, Mountain, Boon, Tempted. None of those are great. Um, I think we are going to keep that on top. So we can just slam a Jace here and start going to work because they don't have any creatures. They get to play like one of these. I guess they get to play Boon as well. And that's going to tap them out. So we're just going to, we're just going to keep it like this actually. See if they want to play Boon this turn or get no value off of their, their showdown. Did they just play a land that's not one of the exiled lands? What? Oh, okay. No. So they just literally did nothing. Snap keep. Sure. That just didn't seem very good. Maybe I'm crazy. Like they didn't even play one of the lands off of it. It was literally just a card they discarded basically. I'm actually wondering if I should have waited on treasure map. I think I should have because it lets us keep disallow up. But I don't understand this match. Like what's going on? Is Brazen Borrower like their main win condition or? So we get to treasure map, keep up disallow and play Omen of the Sea. Sure, again, one for one, I'm not gonna, <laughs> not gonna worry about it. Yep, just gonna keep that on top. If it's a card I wanna draw, I'm not gonna cycle it away. Also not gonna just play approach into their five cards here, so. Kitty okay, you wanna go? Hieroglyphic, oh, this is a big one. This is a big boy. Foretold. Interesting. Flip it. I'm going to bottom that because I don't think it does anything here. We're also going to just play this. Um... Don't care about either of these either. I kind of want to draw a counter spell here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, 
<laughs> Why play many spell when land go does trick? <laughs> Solid reference. Solid reference. You know what? You know what, buddy? It's a long time that you've... Oh, interesting. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I feel like I just have to do this back, right? Counter spell. Choose this one, I'll return my omen, and I will draw. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, mill you for two. Crackling Dragon and Fires of, Inven Fires of Invention. We'll definitely play Triome here. All right, pass the turn. Anyway, I was getting to something here. I was going to do something. Oh, it said standard beat. Oh, standard beat already was a mod. Never mind. I'm a, I'm an actual dumb dumb. I don't know how icons look. So, so tap six, untap them all. I was going to mod you standard beat, but it, it turns out I've already made that decision. I don't know what this could be. It's like nine mana, eight mana. But they don't know what they're doing, I guess. <laughs> Third time's the charm, maybe? S six mana. Agent of Treachery. Okie dokie. You got it. Seems good. That was uh, apparently a very difficult card to play. Seal away multiple choice. I don't hate it. Go seven card, six card, five card, four card, two card. They are CH. Jace's actually might just help us get closer to it. They're targeting themselves. <laughs> Okie dokie. Well, they have 10 cards left in their deck, so they have to win. Oh, I guess Jace, uh, Jace does that, doesn't he? Yeah, that's a good... <sighs> well, <laughs> that's cute. Does Awaken untap it? No, right? It just gives it haste. So you draw for the turn, they go to nine... That's fine. What are we going to do? Man, that ceiling out of Jace was pretty pretty impressive. Again, Agent of Treachery. We also have an Agent of Treachery, don't we? No, that was our last draft, I think. All my blue decks run together. Dude, but if they, like, mill themselves and we end up finding a way to get rid of Jace, like, that's kind of cool, right? Um, let's draw here. Don't love it. Definitely don't love that either. Let's go with this guy. 
This is the omen of the sea. Whoa. So we drew one and then one for the turn. Elspeth's son's champion. What do you do? Bottom. Top. This game's getting mighty close here. So we can scry two to the bottom with Omen. We can draw one with a... Oh. Yep, that'll do. <laughs> I guess we need one more turn. Yep, sounds good. Okie dokie. So... Hmm. Quarantine fee. Uh, Angel of Sanctions, probably better. No, Quarantine Field it is the children who are wrong. I don't think Essence Scatter does counter stupid. Uh, what's his bro's name? Agent of Treachery, which is important. I think we actually could take out mass manipulation, but that does that also would have gotten back our our thing. Man, magic's hard, dude. Mold of six again. Okay. Yeah, I think we should have cut mass for, well, for nothing. We just have. Forty-one cards. That's what I was trying to say there. And we're just going to keep playing regular lands and keep the Jawari disruption in case we actually need it. Hmm, I do like that. Uh, we'll put it on top. Land is land here. As long as we can hit our land drops. It's the, the cornerstone of control decks. They're going to draw two here. We could actually censor and disruption this. Uh, one, two, three, four. I want to hit lands. I know that sounds weird, but... Like, I don't think having another six drop... Like, these, this is at least a six drop. I don't think having another six drop in our hand is really where we want to be. 
<laughs> Speak of the devil. Oh, if this is a, if this is Sphinx's rev, it's going to be real satisfying. <laughs> the value. But you just played your sensor. <laughs> They never expect the second sensor. So we have six land. I want to go to. S I want to be at eight before I start playing threats out. I hope this is a big fat creature that we just haven't seen before. That would be very good for us. And I'll draw one land and just play a dwelling. Oh, that's kind of like a creature. Jeez. Yep. So it's just a four four that draws one. That's fine. And then all you gotta do is scry one and draw one. It's not that hard, right? We're definitely looking for one land so we can pr play and protect Aetherling here. One land. That'll do. Like once they they're basically tapped out here, so I'm avoiding counter spells, and uh, they really have to have two removal spells here that can kill a four or five. They're definitely attacking here. Oh, they're not. I thought they would definitely try to get me to block and then kill my guy and then shock it. Uh, huh. Okay, I like that. They don't have a ton of creatures, so I don't really feel like it's worth making it unblockable because if they block, that's fine. But we're definitely just going to blink this at uh, with non-blue mana keep up. Actually, do we just keep up Sublime at 50 make a copy of Aetherling? Jeez. Based on what I've seen, I feel like Essence Scatter and is probably good enough. Because I think we're just like winning the game if we foretell. Sure. Toad's fine. I don't understand what's going on. Like, what are they doing? Were they just hoping to win with our Jace and that's their win con, or? We're just getting in there for five now because I want to be able to keep up Sublime Epiphany and a way to blink this guy. I'm not going to play. I'm not just going to play Alrun's Epiphany, though. I, I assume they're building towards part the water veil.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Counter time. So what are their modes? Copy a creature. Bounce my guy. Copy. I think we just blink this. Oh, it doesn't come back till the beginning of the next end step. Yeah, we're going to sublime here. Counter a spell. Mine is going to be better. I just hope they don't have a two-minute counter spell. <laughs> oh, my God. That was significantly better. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, all right. That's good. Sure, you get one card and then we just win because we have Alarun's Epiphany. Part the Water Veil. Sure. So now you get two cards. But, you know. Okay, you can play two spells. Agent of Treachery is probably going to be one of them. To get rid of an Aetherling, deck in stone. So if we exile this one, let's exile the good one. If we exile the good one, we still get the token and we get to keep the good one. If we ex... Okie dokie. Well then, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can play Cavalier. I don't think I don't. I think they're in very bad shape now. Because now we just play Cavalier. Next turn we foretell, and they can't do anything to stop us. And we still have a neutralize here. Two cards back, we'll put Mass Manip and Quarantine Field back, we'll play a land. <clears throat> so they go Agent of Treachery, we can Essence Scatter it. And then if they steal it, like we just have Quarantine Field, so I'm not like super concerned. That's one of your two spells. I think this game's over. So there you go. <laughs> That's the end. They like literally can't even play spells on our turn, so. No sense in slower rolling. Okie dokie. All right. Not bad. Not bad. It's not bad at all. That was pod racing.
<laughs> doesn't seem like a very good card in this level. I agree. I don't like fire seems really weird there. So the one game they won, they literally won with my card. <laughs> so, you know, I guess that's, I guess that's something. Oh, uh, is a keeper. I like that. Now we're pretty much set for the for the new year. So this is the new year. You guys know that jam? I do not care about that, but maybe I should. It is yet to be determined. Not to be confused with the dashboard confessional song. Don't care about a resilient Kenra here. Nor can I do anything about it if I did. Oh, dang, a 2-5. Got he. Sure. So this is the matchup we want our, our settle in. Uh, I can't do anything here. Nor do I want to. I think I'm vomiting. <laughs> All right, let's go for it. I've got a hunger turning my stomach into nuts. One, two, three, four, five. They have five total mana. Also, what up, Fritz Arena? Guess we're taking two. Three. I'm basically dead. I'm going to bottom that. We have two more lands in hand right now, and I think that's, that's more than enough. I guess we can wait. There's no real reason to cast that now. It's a it's a flash spell, Franklin. It uh, you can cast it whenever you want. Okay. Ba 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 ba. This is the sound of Michael B. Um, see, that seems kind of obnoxious, but it's okay. I don't have an answer for it. So what am I gonna do? Nothing really. This 
Seal away, seal away, seal away. Can daddy get that fumigate? Daddy living that fumigate life. Come on, one time. Papa needs a brand new fumigato. That's not a fumigato, you little jerk. Look what you did, you little jerk. What do they got? One, two, three, four, five power on board. Well, that's fine. We can bounce one of them, snare another, counter another. I mean, I really don't want to bust into my treasure stash, to be honest with you, but we'll do it if we have to. Palucranos World Eater. Deal. I'm wondering if it's better to just Azorius Charm here and draw a card. Is it worth two damage? Probably, because next turn we also get to treasure it. So we're drawing three total cards next turn. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see what happens. Going to 10 is not the worst here. I can give all my creatures lifelink. Draw a card, Fumigate. Okay. You know, you're being a real you're being a real stink pot, you know that? Fumigate. Okay. You know what? I don't like what you're doing right now. It's kind of it's kind of annoying. I think we're gonna snare the Paluki. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine total. So six, seven, eight, nine. No, I don't want to do that. <sighs> Seeing a lot of cards here. Not the ones we want to see, though. Oh, they didn't need our Azorius charm. That's good. Every little bit helps, you know? So we get to go to five. Which is not ideal. But we can play Amiria's Call, make two blockers. I hope they play something for six mana that I can Jwari Disruption here. So I feel less stupid. Okay, just five? Sounds good. <sighs> well, it's not looking great for our hero right now. We just need the Fumigato, and then we got a game. That's, that's literally the worst Fumigate I've ever seen. Oh, that's the best Fumigate I've ever seen. Papa likes. Hoo -hoo. <laughs> it was only a matter of time, guys. Never didn't have it. Lucky, 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 lucky. That's the moment. That's the moment right there, boy. Virtuous Gear Hulk. Again, you have a great amount of mana. Amiria's Call does deal with this guy, though, pretty pretty well. Where were you? 
One, two, three, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Play this. Six, seven, and then we have three mana for a neutralize or two for a Dwari disruption, and we can still draw a card. Man, what a friggin' banger. So we have two cards. Seems good. Double block. I would like it to do the double block. Uh, no. One, two, three. Four four that's just gonna make you dudes every turn. Not really what I want to see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Aetherling. We are one mana shy of Sublime Epiphany here, but you know what? I'm gonna take the risk. That's fine. I think we've finally done it. Oh. That's sweet satisfaction. Oh man, we're living. Oh, this is the, this is a dream lived right here. Four, five, six, seven. Okay. I'll take a point to deal a point here. Six, we can bounce this. They take four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That does not win us the game, unfortunately. <clears throat> Sublime Epiphany countering their spell and copying my Aetherling is pretty banging. Yeah, that's a Sublime Epiphany. I should have pumped, but I was reading Super Fritz's comment. Hopefully you guys will forgive me. Be sure to subscribe and support the channel. Otherwise, uh, you hurt my feelings. And I don't think that's what you want, so, you know. I'm helping. <laughs> oh, we can just do that. Let's multi-win condition this bad boy. One, two, three. They kind of have to block Aetherling here, right? Four, five. I guess not. Uh, sure. Oh, he's got reach? Eh, whatever. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Man, so much food. That is kind of obnoxious, to be honest. But did you guys see the second sun? It's coming. Second sun. We're gonna cycle this sensor if we don't if we don't get value out of it this turn. Unfortunately, we cannot do the same with Drawry Disruption. I don't think a land is gonna do us that much better now. Beautiful. Beautiful. So they're going to go up to 11. I don't think we're in any rush. Like, we could give it unblockable for sure, but... What's the point where they're not going to block it anyway, so... Yeah, I don't care about this. Actually, you know what? Maybe I will care about that. At a certain point, we can counter their... Well, I guess I'd rather counter the activation than the... 
Could we have one here? I don't think so. One time I over pumped my Aetherling and killed it. That was fun. We're going to deal eight here. So now even if they gain a life, they go to six, and then we can just kill them with Aetherling. Aetherling is a friggin' heck of a card, man. <clears throat> For those who don't know, back when blue-white control was a thing with Aetherling, no one was having a good time. Yep. I don't know what you can get for two mana that's going to do anything here, but nope, that ain't going to do it. Sure. <laughs> Okie dokie. A nice blank 5-5. Five five. Seems good. I mean, I'm sitting here with three counter spells in my hand. Okie dokie. <laughs> they were like, I had you. No. No, buddy. No, you didn't. I think our deck is good. Like, it's basically built for to play against decks like this, so... I think Settle's going to do some work here. I will gladly keep this. Out, am I? That's right. No. I don't need to be revealing an island, even if, I'm, even if I do plan on playing it next turn. Doesn't matter. <clears throat> That's a good one. What is this? Dude, I can pump this guy to like 7,000 damage and tell him where you all be. It's, it's the craziest thing you'll ever experience. Are you ready for it? Mm -hmm. You want to see it happen? I do. It's going to be wild, dude. It's going to be wild and out. Is this, where I pump my, is this where I pump my guy too high? What was the last card you were going down or something? I would, I would cry. You want to see that? Oh my god, hold on. I'm watching this clip. I'll show it to you. Oh, 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 oh we went too far. <laughs> oh no. Wow. We went too far. I killed my own creature. Yeah, this is not the first. Like I said, it's not the first time this has happened. Not having a play before turn three is really frustrating when our deck has quite a few of them. Okay, that clip's actually hilarious. Oh, <clears throat> oh boy. I guess we're going to settle soon. This is the sound of settling. Well, that's no good. Oh, they can also make an ooze. Yeah, this is friggin' amazing. They're attacking for eight here. Okie dokie. Well, that's a game. That's a good one. Where were you last turn? Or the turn before that? At any point in this game, I'd like to know your where your whereabouts. Ugh. 
Did they just not do anything? What? That's interesting. Huh. <coughs> Did they just forget? I wonder if they don't get it because it's no longer a legal target. That's actually pretty reasonable. Now, if they just have two two twos, I mean, they can get like 40 lands out and that's cool, but... <clears throat> Should have copied this cat, my dude. Oh, two counter spells, huh? I'm gonna assume we have three cards. Yeah, we're just gonna. We can wait. <clears throat> we got chills and they're multiplying. I wanna avoid chatter because next turn, if we hit a land, we can go Felidar Retreat, land, cat. So we have two turns, maybe three, depending. I don't know. Avoid the shatter. Yep, use them both. <clears throat> Oh boy, never ends. Jeez. <coughs> as far as draws go, that was pretty good. Oh, let's keep you on top. Choose a player. Yes, choose you. Maybe it wasn't. I mean, like, the fact that they have resilient Kenra is pretty frustrating because that dude's just four damage to us. We don't have another creature, though, so that's good. So they can't actually make the scavenging use a 4 4. So we know their hand is resilient Kenra on one other card. And this. Oh, yes, they can make it a 5 5. Fuck. I, I thought this was. I, for some reason, I was thinking Earthshaker Kenra. Well, we're going to block here because otherwise we die. Oh wow, they have they have something else. What the fuck is this? Okay, <laughs> nice hand. Yep, sounds good. You got it. Let's bring in a baffling end. Let's take out sensor and. Uh... <clears throat> Probably take out one of these, right? I think Angel of Sanctions is probably a good choice. It's a little cheaper. Oh, I think Archon was probably correct instead of Jace too. I think the sideboarding is... I've just been like... <clears throat> not sideboarding super great, so... So next time we can uh, suspend this. I feel like being on the play here is very, very good for us, especially when we have four lands and things to do. 
Well, that guy's obnoxious. <coughs> not keeping, uh, not 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 doing this because they're going to play this guy, and then we're going to want to put this guy back. So. I mean, ideally, we can go turn five this, turn six, take some turns. Yep, one three druid doesn't do anything for Pelt Collector. Does not have Evolve. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, that Pikachu with those stick arms. It's pretty good. Pretty. So now we get to just keep up a counterspell here into next turn multiple choice. That seems good. That's fine. Ain't nobody got time for that. <clears throat> I'm just going to pass here. Hmm. Oh, the, that subtle protection. Oh, piss blow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's great. One, two, three. Like, not only does this make their pelt collector worse, but it means we have fewer things on board to contend with next turn. We're going to also find our six land with this. That would be an Archon. <clears throat> we are going to bottom Aetherling. Choose a player. Yeah. You. So now we can go turn six, turn seven, and see what else we hit. I mean, we're kind of like afraid of Virtuous Gear Hulk. That card's a that card's a banger. That card's also surprisingly frustrating. <clears throat> but we do have time. Oh boy. kind of want to attack here, but I think it's better to just wait till next turn. Like, they could double block with cats. Maybe they just take four here. Yeah, we're just going in. I don't think they're going to block. <clears throat> yeah, that's four free points. So basically, we can Sublime, copy this, bounce something. And that's pretty decent. We could also just... Yeah, we're just keeping everything back here. Once we get to seven mana, one, two, three, we need one more blue source and then we can keep up Jace and Disallow. Yep, all right, let's cast. Uh, counter spell, e return a permanent to its owner's hand, create a token, and target player draws a card. Counter you. Uh, bounce a kitty cat. Copy my guy and I'll draw. One, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> Mana Confluence doing some doing some damage here, but <clears throat> Oh, that Dan's emote. <laughs> I don't even know who that is. Oh, uh...
Oh yeah, you can. Re yeah, definitely release it, Medina. Feel free, my dude. Me and John Medina uh, recorded a podcast tonight, so. Let's get both these guys in there in case you got like a pump or some shenanigans. I like that this is the copy of the token, just so you know. It's a token token creature. <laughs> you said all those things about Watsy. Yeah, well, they're not changing, so what are you going to do? Um, block, 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 or block, block. We take one, two, three, four, five. This guy's big. This, the unfortunate thing about this Jace is that he doesn't protect himself, but we're going to just treasure map here. Keep up disallow. And if we can find one more land, we can mass manip two different things, which is... Oh, they have no cards in hand either, so... <clears throat> that's good. That's probably... That's probably enough. <laughs> yeah. There's only one other creature in, in both our graveyards. So, while you can <clears throat> make that guy 4-4... Four, four, we can also just block it. Or we can steal it and then we have mana confluence to eat things. That's that's all right. Let's do that. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Could have let this resolve and let them uh, <clears throat> steal it next turn. Let, let us steal it next turn. Let them use it and Thank then we you. steal it. Yep, you got it. Oh, Mike with the resub. Thank you, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude. Welcome back. Does anybody know what, does anything just start tomorrow or is it just like one random cube and then done? <clears throat> they have no cards, so they're just trying to figure out if they're attacking this turn, I guess. I mean, it still does not say that this cube is even up on the Magic Online calendar, which is kind of frustrating, dude. That's annoying. I really don't feel like it's that difficult to update like the calendar once a week or even once a month, but oh well. That's interesting. They have no cards in hand, so this is fine. <clears throat> give me uh, give me a blue land blue land blue land settle I'm actually bottoming settle the wreckage here and because I want any land I'm gonna yeah that's not that's not what I was looking for I guess doing it now doesn't do anything could play Jace could play Jewelry Disruption face down I think that's probably fine <clears throat> Jace goes to five they're in top deck mode one, two, three, four. I'm actually going to mill myself here because it's far less likely that we hit creatures. And I don't want scavenging games being that much bigger. Hitting a fumigate was pretty good, though. Yeah, I think we're just going to play this face down. Now that we've hit Fumigate, I'm pretty sure we're just going to wipe the board next turn and then keep Mass Manips for anything they want to follow up with. Just easy chump block scavenging is. Why are you hitting a land? That's super weird. Like, we could have Torrential Gear Hulk in our deck. Hit that Sublime Epiphany. Uh, you hit your. Why are you eating your own chariot? That doesn't even do anything. What? <laughs> what? I mean, if I have, like, Commit to Memory, then you want to draw that again. I don't understand anything that's going on right now. Oh, they just top deck something good that I that I could use a Jewari disruption for. Uh, it's actually fine, I guess. <clears throat> I mean, our plan is to Fumigate, so. 
We take eight here, but then we wipe the board. Eh, what are you going to do? Or we take none and they kill Jace. That's, that's also fine. Ooh, both at Jace. Nice. Save that life. All right, so now we just get to fumigate here and probably call it a day. I'm going to bottom that because it draws us one, so I'd rather just see what else we got. And also flip this. Okay. <coughs> Your move. So now we get to approach with Treasure Cove up. Okie dokie. <laughs> well, that's rough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you got seven, six, five, four, three, two. Approach. Okay. I think they're just making a shy here and then attack for seven. I'm at 23, though, so I'm not super concerned. And then we just get to untap and steal both their guys. Seems good. Make sure you pump. No pumps. Nothing else to do with that mana, but you're not going to pump. All right. I am not here to tell you the correct plays. Dang. Um. So we just went, we just drew a card and drew another card. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, I guess we could have not clued. What we can also do is Elspeth negative to kill the Ashaya. I can steal all three, can't I? For some reason, my math is off. <laughs> well, that's cool. <laughs> Let's hit a land. A real top card. Okay, four. Yeah, because SF Dragon said one land and steal all three. And I'm like, I don't, I, I don't have land. All right, that's good. Draw for the turn is going to put us 3-2 approach. And 2 and approach. That's not an approach. All right, fine. Pow! <clears throat> and that's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes you just got to approach that second sun. Bring me a second sun. Whoa. Playing good old Trigon Jeffrey, guys. Y'all know Trigon Jeffrey. 
I don't know how soon we want to play this. That's my problem here. We have three mana, which lets us cast this. And we have plenty of time to draw more lands. Castle Garenbrig. <laughs> when dawn number two hits, you just straight winning. Um, I think we can risk it for a little biscuit. Plus, we have treasure map to find. Oh, green, black. Interesting. I don't have a counter spell, so I'm not a big fan of pretending like I have a counter spell. Definitely going to advance my board state if I have the option. <laughs> they just pump us with a three three and they attack for five, huh? Spell or ability. The thing is, I want to have one of these down, because otherwise we're going to have to play one on four and one on five. And if they guess, they guess that they want to spend their turn pumping it, that's fine. This is cheaper to cycle, which is why we kept this one in hand. <clears throat> for, for everyone that's curious as to what's going on here. You're getting a pump? No. All right. That's fine with me. Oh, we missed a land drop, too. I'm going to bottom that because we still do have three lands in hand. I like Stasis Snare, whatever you play, Treasure Map, and then Multiple Choice. And then we're setting up for a Sublime Epiphany and Amiria's Call. That's pretty good. Pay costs? Oh, they have one. Oh, okay. Sure. I'm going to keep that. <laughs> I think that's good enough to keep. <clears throat> um, yeah, I'm going to keep that too. Feels like we're doing well. Hmm. So they have four power on the board, which is not terrifying. We can go farmland, clock, keep up, treasure map, and the other thing, and then start... Yeah, let's just start doing that. <clears throat> this seems good. Return a non-land permanent, which is actually great with Stasis Snare here. I'm actually not going to yield to the trigger, because when it actually puts the 12th counter on... I kind of want to activate it to see if I can use the mana for something. Sure, I'll take four here. Ten is basically at twenty if you're <laughs> if you're in control of the game. I 
do not care about that. <clears throat> Don't actually care about that either. Interesting. Fumigate. I'll bottom that. We're going on lands here. Zorius Charm. How charming. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, 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 Ellie and the Spiths. Ten is twenty if you're in Dublin. Is that because of the Dublin? Is that doubling thing joke? If a quick maths joke. <laughs> that's, that's barely English, buddy. I think Super Fritz has been hitting the bottle. Something's happening. I forgot we still get to keep Void Shatter up. Oh, Liliana Dreadhorde General. That's like the biggest fuck out of here I've ever seen. You're barely English, got him. Ah, uh, you know, he's right. He's right, mate. Let's just do some basic trades here. So now we get to keep a big Epiphs while having a, an Elspeth on board. God, lands are so good when you're when you're playing the control deck. It's like the best thing you could draw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Plus, you get to draw another card. I feel like with Sublime Epiphany Elspeth on board, there's probably no way we lose here. This guy costs six to pump. Does he get trample? No. Okay. Uh, block. These seem like good deals for us. I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe I'm, God, another Liliana? God. What's the deal with these Lilianas? Counter spell, return permanent target. Yeah, so bam, bam, bam. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. That that'll do, pig. That'll do. I think Felidar Retreat's kind of poop. Maybe I just lean heavier on the art on the enchantments. <coughs> I didn't say good luck, so I'm going to say good game because I forgot. I didn't want to say good luck at the at the time when I was kind of ahead, so I was like, oh, this is awkward. I don't want to say it now. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. 
in reality, I'm probably the only person who would care about that, but. Look at that little guy. I need lands. Okay. That's what Papa likes. The good lands. The bad. Oh, actually, midnight clock into being act able to activate treasure map and ramping us to fumigate is the chef's, the most chef's kiss thing ever. Your hand looks like a constructed hand. Oh, yeah, this, this deck is, um, yeah, uh, Charizard James was like, this deck seems like a constructed deck. And I was like, yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Also saying GG when you were beating your... Um, yes, but they said GG first. So I was responding to their GG. Like, I wouldn't have preempted a GG after I, like, beat someone. Because I just, I feel like... Personally, I feel like that's just... It's, it's awkward. Some people don't take it well. I personally think it's bad form. That makes it polite. I know, that's what I'm saying. Oh, a love struck beast. Yeah, I'll keep a Rawgrin Triome. Like a Rawgrin Triome. Hmm. We can do that. One, two, three, four. We can also. I guess we just keep it neutralized. Yeah, we want to save neutralize actually for um planeswalkers. So if they untap and go like land Liliana, it's really awkward. But if they just go like Love Struck Beast, it's fine, because then we can fumigate. Fumigate them all. Ooh, they're just doing the beats. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. That's okay. So we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, which means we can fumigate. Okay, this is actually good. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna keep all lands we get. I just don't really have any interest in taking 11 damage. Seems bad. And if we have to just trade all three of these for a neutralize, I think that's fine. Man, they just keep drawing some cards. Nope. Make your one one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll just cast this now. Oh. Ho ho ho. Um, I 
I'm actually going to play this here because we still have Essence Scatter up. And they, I don't know how many more one ones they're going to have. I think they had like, I think we've seen like maybe one or two other one ones. That's fine. Ooh, a Choops. Yeah, we're saving our counter spell for a Choops. Here he comes. No, this is going to be just Love Stark Beast. That's fine. That is fine. So they have one card. They're drawing Choops. We can Essence Scatter the Choops. Put a counter on this. We're definitely close enough where next turn we can get rid of Scatter, draw seven. I think this is a 3 0 deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So on their turn, it goes to 11. On our turn, it goes to 12. So either play this or just put it as a land, I think. With only eight mana, I think I'm just playing it. No. <clears throat> I think we're just taking four here. Whatever we draw next turn is going to be uh, probably more than enough to handle whatever's happening. Unless they draw Lily on Dreadhorde General. Oh no. I'm gonna play this because it's gonna get removed from our hand. So trading a four three for a, a land, this is basically just four mana path to exile. And then we know they have Choop in hand, so we just draw the Choop or counter the Choop. Oh, uh, yes, the Neil Diamond Classic, Rogram Triumph. Yeah, you know that? You know that one? That one's a classic. Oh, we just win the game. Thank you guys for watching. Are these, what are these? Treasure chest and a friendly trophy. I can't, I can't tell. Because the art's not there, but. Let's open it right here on the stream. Be sure to subscribe or follow, guys. If you guys are watching on twitch.tv be sure to follow because it's a very great way to support the channel and uh streaming is one of my primary sources of income and i am here a lot what is this i, don't, I can't tell what art this is they gave me five of them but I, I really have no idea what it is show preview pain okay sounds good who is the artist Titus Luntner. So it's a Titus Luntner, Luntner, Luntner land. Luntner land. Scrap Trawler. And a Zahid. I hope, hope you guys, uh, hope you guys have a good time. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later.